Hello, my name is Arthur, and in the last video we did some uh, escape sequences. We did some changes to our um, regular quotes, and we did some stuff with chars to get chars working. Now, I've discovered that, oh, there's a need for a correction video. So, what I didn't do was scan down my test script to discover this and um, yeah well, one of my changes to the quote search that was made in order to be able to find this symbol and this symbol caused a breakage because it was overly simplified and then I found um, another issue Let's just get over to the edge here so we can see. Here's the other issue. This is enabled to highlight as a char. And this thinks it's um, an escape sequence. So we need to fix those. Um, the one this one I know how to fix. The other one, I'm not 100% sure that my fix on that is um, 100%. I've come up with something to fix it, but I can't really be certain that it's 100%. Because, yeah, this stuff is all um, pretty complicated. To be honest, it's proving quite a challenge to come up with some syntax highlighting, especially for somebody who's only just learning C and GDK. So, this is the part where I oversimplified. Um, this isn't enough. So, what's happening is, it's finding this symbol. It's not finding the backslash. So, it thinks that what it's found was a slash and a, and a regular quote. So, it comes down here and it turns it into a... Turns it into a... Gives it the orange color and treats it like an open quote. So I need it to be more specific and to do that I need to change this into a different variable instead of reusing the same variable. So we'll change that so we have the two chars and then before we do this check all we have to do is do a very specific check. So we'll go if temp equals the single quote and if temp one equals a regular quote. So if that's the case, then what it needs to do is simply assign assign a regular um, a regular tag and break out because it's found that it's found the closing quote and any time it finds a closing quote, it breaks out of this loop. So we can paste that in there, and that should fix the one issue because now we're checking specifically for for the character that it was mistakenly putting the orange color to. Let's see, um... Oh, we don't put an if here. So we'll just get that to compile so we can check it out. So, really, we don't need to open up the other document. But well, maybe we should anyways, just to be certain that we're not breaking anything else while we're proceeding. So things look right. Um, if we scroll down, now this isn't turning orange and the close quote is being seen. So that looks like it's worked fine. So the next one is letting... Um, letting the char turn into a char is basically what we need to do. So once we find this 
this first um, quotation mark, if we were to go if GDK text iter has tag and end comma single quote tab break so now to be able to do that we have to move single quote to be declared up here let's see where single quote so we won't declare it here anymore. We'll declare it up there. So we'll cut that out. And we'll paste it up here. And then we have to let the single quote be able to turn into... Um, turn into a char. So to do that, we have... The place where it checks if it has the quote tag, we need to change this from end to start. Otherwise, um, that's the first one. And if end checks for a tag, it will see the quote tag. So it needs to check at the start of its result to know that it itself is not inside of a quote tag. So that was probably a mistake all along. Then down here on the second check, we don't want it to check that at all. So we'll just put in a close bracket, a curly bracket, and comma, comment out that check. So that'll let the char turn into a char. And once that char can turn into a char, up in um, here, it will be able to go, oh, that single quote is sitting inside of a char so it's not a valid quote it'll break out and look for an opening quote again so breaking out of breaking out of um oh actually this is in the wrong place we're in the wrong loop to break out of that has to happen inside of this loop because breaking out of this loop puts us back to looking for an open quote. So it's going, okay, there's nothing to do with that. Um, it's a char, and it goes and looks for an open quote. So hopefully that will mostly resolve the issue, but it might kind of create a new issue, a refresh issue. So it might not know immediately, but hopefully it's pretty close. Okay, where's that? That's just uh, not enough brackets closing that up. So hopefully this is close, but I'm not certain it will be 100%. Um, we'll load up the document just to see that I didn't break anything. So everything still looks right. Those look right. This is still right. And then we'll take a look and see if we can type those, that symbol now. So it turns into a quote, it becomes a char. So we'll check that hasn't broken this, so that still works. We'll check its inverse, that still works text is still white. Um, now I think when I messed around and I put some beside each other, well, things still seem to be working right. 
So that seems to have fixed it, but I'm not 100% certain on that. So if it turns out that it's still broken, I'll do another video correcting videos. I don't mind making mistakes. That's how I learn. I learned how to walk by falling down also, so not a big deal doing a little few correction videos here and there. I'm not adverse to that. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully that has things working a little bit better and closer to, to what we'd be looking for for a highlighting kind of um, program. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll come back and do something else. I'm not sure what yet. And until then, take care.